I am often confounded why I cannot say what I want to say in school grounds. As if I were a slave, a machine, something that cannot express its free will. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Jose Fragosa, and I have been posted with a question. How are the limitations of student rights and administration of the First Amendment in U.S. public schools? My answer? They aren't. This is simply a stupidity that has been drawn by the government to limit what people think and what they think in the future so they do not speak against corporations and other environments. But to first understand this, you have to know what is the First Amendment. So, firstly, the First Amendment of the Constitution of the United States states that, this, that the Congress shall make no law impeding speech, religion, press, reunion, nothing. But basically, we, today we'll be focusing on speech. However, I cannot get up and shout, I love tacos in the middle of the street, because that'll be an infringement of my first my <coughs> time, place, and manner rules. What are the 10 time, place, and manner rules? Basically, the time, place, and manner rules I'll first put in to limit what you can say when. For example, sometimes it will be okay to like not say <coughs> stupid stuff in the middle of a conference, but when I'm talking in the street to a friend, it will be way more normal to talk about more different details. Now, we're in the middle of the topic. Says, a school cannot be represented by a student. But why? Are students representing the school, or the school want to shield itself for its reputation? Are the students, the students, the power of the school does not equal the freedom of the student. Basically, the, the school is basically trying to oppress people so they do not speak trying to create a leg and light behavior where they all lead to their own destruction. My evidence, the BL18 case. This student right here attempted and failed as she posted an image on social media that she expressed her views against the school environment. When she returned to school, she was expelled. But she went to the, to the Supreme Court and showed her case where the Supreme Court ruled this was a violation of her First Amendment rights. Now, was was this? Was it an attempt of the school to shield itself? Or was this an attempt to silence her so that it, so she doesn't know what she's doing? Another case, the Hazelwood School District. This student right here wrote a paper expressing, again, her own opinions against the school environment. But why? What happened? The, the principal right here silenced her paper. She took it down, took down her articles, and fired her from the school's newspaper. She took it to the first court. But this time, what's the difference? This time the, rule, the school ruled with the school, but <coughs> the court ruled with the school. But why? Was it offensive? No. Inappropriate? Maybe. But tell me, if this, truly, this is truly what the world should be about, should it be about silence, about not talking what you want to say? You want to become a puppet controlled by someone else, a slave who cannot give his opinion? No. So basically, as you dive right in, I have to ask the question, are the schools why, is it the right thing to silence people, to control them? No. The limitation of school rights are not a real impression of the First Amendment. Do I think this is a conspiracy? Yes. This is conspiracy. Remember, when a student grows up, he's doing his first years. He's growing up to think, I cannot say when I want whatever I want. No. So when he goes up into the workforce, he's not going to be able to speak whatever he wants. Thank you. Any questions? Two questions for you. Yes. First up, what evidence did you gather that you didn't use, and then why didn't you use it? Evidence that I gathered will be the Tinker vs. Des Moines case. Yes, this case is very popular, but tell me, this case was very old when, it, when you went to investigate it. it. The laws has changed, time has changed, the world has changed. You cannot use the old evidence. The Hazelwood the case was different, however, as it occurred way more recently than the, that case. All right, and then uh, <coughs> what advice would you have for other researchers who consider this topic? If you consider this topic, you need to first research, uh, advance on my <coughs> research. Basically, go to c and research on Congress. Is there anything, any laws that prevent schools? Is there any research, any amendments? that are blocking them? Is there any lines that parallel? All right, thank you.